Hey guys, it's Zephyr here. I'm here with a, another video and today we're going to go through um, something quite a little bit more on the interesting side today. Um, we're actually going to look at how to do passwords and um, I don't know if you've ever played Wizardry, uh, Wizards and Warriors or, or anything like those sort of older games, uh, but we can also do something um, using this method with dialogue as well. Um, so we're going to get into this straight away. So I've I've already showed you in a previous video about how to do events and things and I've also showed you how to create loot boxes as well which is great um, but something I'm actually going to teach you today is how to password this chest so for the sake of this video and for the sake of making things nice and easy I'm not going to use a common event today um, we do have the actual contain uh, the sort of container of the actual loot contained with this in this common event for, so for now um, we'll just treat this as if this is the loot here. Um, so what we're going to do now, we've got this pink chest and we want to password it. So what we'll want to do, and this is something I did a little bit earlier on, um, is on our database, we actually want to create a blank actor. So I actually reserved this for actor 14. I selected a character graphic and I actually named the character graphic one, two, three, four. So we're going to do a password here. Now, we're going to edit this chest and we're going to do a conditional branch. So we have touched on conditional branches sort of um, a little bit here and there every now and again. There's still so much to cover with this. But what we're going to do, we're going to actually make a conditional branch here. Um, so we're going to do a conditional branch. We're going to do... We're gonna hit. We're gonna hit. Which one is it? So we're gonna actually hit actor. We're gonna hit page two. We're gonna hit actor. We're gonna hit number fourteen. And rather than is in the party, we're gonna hit name. And in here, we can set a name. For the sake of keeping this super simple, I'm gonna set the name to. Uh, and this is what our password result will be. So our password result will be four, three, two, one. That's our password. We're going to make it create an else branch. So this is our password. You can have whatever you want here. You don't have to do numbers, but I'm going to do numbers to make it easy. Create an else branch. So hit OK. I'm going to move my loot acquiring and actually opening of the chest, the self switch onto um, into this container here. So I just cut with uh, control X and paste with control V into that box. So if we get the password correct, it's going to let us into that chest. Um, I'm actually going to put a bit of dialogue just before where it will say, please enter the password. gonna hit okay so I'll bring this up and then as our else case will say the password is wrong so we hit okay again so that is pretty much it so what we're actually gonna do to let the player enter the password is we're gonna insert something new so we're gonna click here we're going to go onto page two and we're going to, uh, actually it's not page two, it's page three. Uh, on page three, we're going to do name input processing. We're going to do it for our little password here. So one, two, three, four. And max characters, I'm going to set to four. So there isn't too much margin of error there. We're using four digits, so four characters. But if you want your password to be longer, obviously set the characters higher. I'm going to hit OK. So now that we've done that, I'm actually going to load into the game here and I'm going to show you this actually working. So we did this in sort of about five minutes. So it's well, less than that. So it's really quick and easy to do. Um, I'm going to do this. Please enter the password. Enter the password. We said our password was four, three, two, one. And open the chest. We found a potion. And obviously the chest is empty now, so it's not going to do anything more. But this is just a little extension to the loot boxes video. I thought I'd show you this and do it super, super quick. Um, also, 
just remember, like I said, you can change this to anything you want. So if you wanted to do something like wizardry and you wanted multiple dialogue options, well, what you could do is let's take this NPC here and um, let's just have um, dialogue. We'll say, what do you want to talk about today? Today. Okay. So what do you want to talk about today? Um, and we could have an actor called Enter Phrase. Okay. So we could have something like that. And then we could do a conditional branch. So we'll do it again. And we'll select page two, actor, enter phrase, name. We'll say, um, we'll say legend. And we can uh, sort of put that there. And we can do another one that says, I don't know. Um, let's say, um, love. I don't know. Let's hit another one. So again, we're going to do the thing where we go to page three. We do name input processing. And we're going to do it for enter phrase. We're going to do max characters. We'll, we'll leave it at like, I don't know, we'll leave it at like 12 or something. Um, I think that will leave enough space. It might not be enough, actually. We'll just do it to 14. I'm not looking to count today. Um, so here's another thing. So we'll just put some dialogue. Uh, did you hear about the two sovereigns? So we'll keep it nice and brief just for the sake of this video. And we'll have another one that says, um, um, I really like pasta. So this is the pasta loving girl. So there we go. Really nice and quick. We're going to just go in again and I'll show you exactly what we mean. We'll hit new game. And if we talk to this girl, what do you want to talk about today? We're going to talk about love. I really like pasta. I'm going to talk to her again. We're going to say legend. Did you hear about the two sovereigns? There you go. Uh, sorry, a little bit in the way. My face is a little bit in the way of um, some of that dialogue there, but you get the idea. Um, that is uh, a really quick video today. I wanted to show you that one. Um, I did originally record a video a couple of weeks ago, but I wasn't happy with it, so I didn't publish it and I made this one. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you next next Friday. Hey guys, I do have a Discord now. It's called the RPG Maker uh, Creation Exchange. Um, we just talk about RPGs and all that kind of fun stuff. And if you want to send me any questions, uh, you can do so there. Um, love to see you if you do join. And uh, thank you very much for watching.